Another thing I like to cover at third base is covering the bag. So if the throw is coming from the catcher on a pickoff, a couple of things can occur. One would be a straight pick. We're going to probably catch the ball in the line and try to make a tag. If we're covering a runner stealing from second base, then we're going to try to open up. And if we can, straddle the bag and then make the tag. If we can't straddle the bag, at least we want to get to here so that now we can make the tag. And the thing that we always talk about is keep the glove as close to the tag as possible. Your hands are going to move quicker than, the ball moves quicker than your hands. So you don't want to reach for balls and then try to apply a tag. You want to let the ball travel as much as it can, apply the tag with the back of the glove and get the glove out. But there's a lot of plays here at third base that they have to be privy to. Throws from the outfield. Okay, we want to make sure that if we're taking balls from right field, we may put our foot to the inside of the bag to create a lane to throw because most of the time the runner is going to be running on the outside part coming into third base. So this is a good place for us to take a throw from right field. The tough ones become when it's right center uh, or yeah, right center or center field. We can either straddle the bag. The thing we don't want to do though we get too far over here, we're taking our glove away from the tag, so we've got a longer reach to make that tag, so you got to be careful. So I like to try to straddle the bag here, and you know what, it could be a um, bang bang play, we ball, throw maybe hit the runner, uh, we can try setting on the inside sometimes, which I think is the safest, and then left field, definitely we have a lot of room here to uh, be able to make a tag, but placement of your feet when it comes to a tag, I always think about keeping the glove as close to the tag as possible. Okay, the second thing is you have to establish a throwing lane for your outfielders. So this takes a lot of practice. That's why when we're doing ground balls to our outfielders each day, they're throwing to bases so that our third baseman, second baseman get a, can get accustomed to um, fielding those uh, throws and making tags.